Hello and welcome to Two Two Tuesday. Two tips, two minutes each. First, we'll be beauty on the outside with a product tip and information. And then the last half will be beauty on the inside, which really you guys know, more like a life thought. <laughs> All right, so the product for today for beauty on the outside is actually one of my favorite products and it's the Mary Kay Naturally Exfoliating Powder. Okay, that sounds kind of unique because it is. So one is from the Naturally line, which um, this is actually free of all the stuff. So parabens, phthalates, SLS, SLES, all that kind of stuff. If you have no idea what all that stuff is, that means it's not important to you. So it's all good. But for those who watch those ingredients, 100% um, natural, it's third party certified, but it's a powder. Okay. So it's not like a, as quite as fine as like a baby powder, but it's pretty darn close. Okay. So this does not look like it would do much exfoliating, but when you add water to it, or what I do is in the shower, I actually have my cleanser um, and I just mix it all in with the cleanser and it becomes even more exfoliating. So if you use the TimeWise cleanser, it's already got some exfoliating beads. And so when you add the naturally exfoliating powder, one, it has a really natural fragrance that is, I think it's very gentle but delicious, um, but it also kind of ups the exfoliating. But maybe your cleanser doesn't have exfoliation in it and this is just a gentle way to, um, I don't even know if I want to use the word scrub because really the big thing about this powder is it's still very gentle, um, but it's gonna help with that removal of those dead surface cells. So I love it. Okay, especially because I think I like the smell, but it's just kind of, it's really kind of fun. So it stays in my shower. Um, I just took it out of my shower and that's where it lives. All right, so switching to beauty on the inside. When I was thinking about this exfoliating powder and how really by itself, um, well, it really, it's, it's purpose, it's <laughs> gift giving to us, happens when we add water or like I said, add water and my cleanser to it. So it reminded me of a story that you've probably heard before. It's been around for a long time, but sometimes it's fun just to, or it's a good reminder um, to hear them again and just be a cause for reflection. And in this case, we're going to say food for thought. It's the story of the carrot, the egg, and the coffee bean. And the story goes that um, there was a young girl who came to her mother or her grandmother and was having a hard time. And so she took her to the kitchen and started boiling water. And then she put in the carrots in a pot of boiling water, put the eggs in a pot of boiling water, and then with the coffee, ground the coffee and put that in the boiling water. And then when everything was boiled, there was a discussion that happened about what happened during the adversity of the boiling water. And the carrot that started very hard and strong appearing on the outside became mushy. <laughs> That's Gina's word, but just soft and mushy. Um, and then the egg, fragile on the outside, after the hard times, after the boiling water, looked the same on the outside, but its inside was hardened. It had a hardened heart, right? Because of the adversity. And then the coffee bean that first had to be crushed, had to experience a little extra pain um, during that adverse boiling water situation, but it changed the water. And truly the aroma, and for those who are coffee lovers, can change us, right? No, but really it didn't, it, the fullness happened through the adversity of the boiling water. And so the question for you is not who are you, because really each situation is different, but it is the food for thought if you're looking in the past, but really we know we can't change the past. We can learn from the past, but in each situation where things feel a little adverse to just remember, are we going to let that or let ourselves be like the carrot? Be like the egg in that situation or be beautiful and delicious <laughs> like that coffee. All right. See you next time on 2-2 Tuesday. Bye.